Hey, good afternoon. Right around 1230 is when we are recording this. We've got gray skies and temperatures hanging at that 48 degree mark. It's a slow warm up over the past hour or so, but we're getting closer to that 50 degree mark. Expect most of us to hit the low 50s for a high with winds out of the south, although we are watching a big change up with winds moving in out of the north late tonight. This is what we've got set up over the region. Again, winds out of the south out ahead of this low. So we've got strong southerly flow well up through through Iowa, I should say. Uh, cold front off to the northwest. This trough of low pressure sitting just to our west. Overall, all of this is going to slide through as we head into your overnight hours tonight. And that'll bring us a big change up. Some Arctic air uh, hiding just behind that. Temperatures currently to our southwest in the 50s. This is where we're sourcing our air from today. So again, that will help to warm us up. But as I mentioned, Arctic air hiding behind that, that front, and that is what's heading our way for later this week. It's that cold air that's going to settle in and really bring us some concern through Thursday and Friday morning. So future track showing temperatures falling out of the 50s this afternoon, well into the 30s by overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning, low 30s, upper 20s. That's where we'll start early tomorrow. We may drop a little bit through the morning hours, but I expect us to kind of stick around in the 20s. I don't expect a big temperature drop throughout the day Wednesday. We may slowly fall, but we'll likely hold on to something as we head throughout the day as uh, we get daylight of some some sort through some of the clouds and we will start to pick up a chance for some precipitation, although really only on the southern edge of our viewing area. We're talking communities like Camdenton to Lynn to Owensville and Rolla and then those places to the south really near I-44 have the best chance for some showers Wednesday afternoon. It'll be a quick chance for rain. I don't expect really any accumulation of precipitation in either form liquid or snow. We will have a chance for a few flurries, but it passes off so quickly I don't expect much impact at all. Not a lot of moisture to work with and we'll likely see more dry and cold air behind this as we head into early Early Thursday, we're talking potentially single digit temperatures with wind chill values below zero early Thursday. That'll be the dangerous cold we're talking about. And we'll do it again early Friday morning as temperatures kind of hang in that single digit territory. So as we head throughout the afternoon, really enjoy the warmth. We're still hanging in the 40s through the evening hours tonight, overnight tonight. Before the front rolls through, we're still lingering in the 40s, but then that front rolls through and that'll drop us down into uh, 20 degree territory for Wednesday morning. And we'll rebound into the mid 20s at best, I think maybe even upper 20s for folks to the south on Wednesday afternoon. But we do also pick up that chance for precipitation, especially to the south. That percent chain chance drops as you head further towards the north as we don't see really any chance for rain north of 70 or even I think north of Jefferson City. As we head into Thursday again, temperatures are cold. Early Thursday morning, single digits again on Friday. Friday as we only get back up into the upper 20s and low 30s Friday afternoon. Saturday into Sunday, we are finally back above freezing, but the big warm-up looks to hold off until Monday.